Hi there, Nicole here, and today I have a card created with Mama Elephant and Operation Write Home for a blog hop we're having featuring the new Mama Elephant In My Heart stamp set and dies, which is a darling set of little, little people image stamps and greetings. For my card today, I'm going to be stamping this cute little girl sitting with her head in her hands. And I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that I can color her in with some Copic markers. These are fairly small images, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of shading with my Copics, but I am going to do just a little bit, I, especially for the skin and the hair. I'm starting with my lightest color, and that is E000. And usually then I just work up from lightest to darkest, but sometimes I go ahead and add my darkest color. And I'm going with a little bit darker skin tone than I sometimes do. So I used a little of E13 there and E11, and I'm smoothing it out with E00, a little R20 for her cheeks. And then I'm going back over everything with E000 to smooth out any of those color lines. And I ended up going over it quite a bit to kind of get the coloring that I wanted. Smooth it all out. Again, go back with my lightest color to get rid of any of those dark lines. Now for the blonde hair, I started with E50 and I'm just flicking it up from kind of around the face and then then down from the top of the head, leaving a highlight area through the center. Have YR20, I believe Y21 before that, and then finally Y35 for my darkest color. And I'm just simply flicking in this color, feathering is what the technique is called. It gives a more realistic looking hair, even on an image as small as this. Now I did need to smooth out the skin tone again, you saw me do there, and the reason I had waited until I did the hair to do that is sometimes you can get the paper so saturated with these markers that the colors will bleed, so I like to give it a little dry time. I knew I had colored her skin quite a bit, so I went ahead and did her hair, and then the skin tone was mostly dry, so I went ahead and went back over it. I did cut out a piece of vellum using a little inker stitched square mat uh, die set, rather. And then I die cut a piece of three and a half inch square white card stock using the Mama Elephant Landscape Trio Cloud or Scalloped Border Die. And using the rock and roll technique with the Mama Elephant Winter and Ocean Inks, I inked up the Big Words Mama Elephant stamp set. I used the word hugs and I stamped it with the Winter Ink, the lighter blue ink first, and then I rolled it into the Ocean Ink and stamped it along my cloud border. And then I also stamped the I Love You from the In My Heart Mama Elephant stamp set. I inked up the word love with the apple ink and then inked up the I and you with black ink. Now I'm just laying my little girl there that I have already die cut in place so I can see where I want to add the little grass areas. That grass stamp is from the In My Heart stamp set, and I'm going to use some green Copic markers to color that in, and then I'm again using that flicking type feathering technique to add in some additional color and grass and greenery for a little bit more realistic type look. And then I can add my girl to right there in between those two little clumps of grass. I've also stamped and colored in the cute little snail from the In My Heart stamp set and die cut it with the coordinating die. I'll add a little liquid adhesive there to my design and use the quick stick tool since it's such a teeny tiny little piece to put that in place. It helps keep it kind of hands free. I don't get my fingers into the glue. I 
I'm ready to start assembling the card. I'm going to use some foam adhesive on the back of the cloud piece to pop this all up. This gives subtle dimension without having a really bulky card. So I just absolutely love using foam adhesive and layers of paper and vellum because it keeps your card relatively flat, but with lots of, it looks very dimensional, I guess I want to say. I'm going to add a little adhesive there to the cloud piece. This is die cut from some doodle bug pattern paper to three and a half inch square. I'm going to place that behind the vellum and line up my cloud with the bottom of that paper and place it on the top. So that's how my card's going to look. Now I wanted a little something up above the little girl sitting there with her head in her hands and I thought the heart from the In My Heart stamp set would be perfect. I'm going to use a powder tool to make sure that when I emboss, my embossing powder stays only on the image that I've stamped and doesn't cling to any of the rest of the design. Stamping with Versamark and then sprinkling on some red embossing powder from American Crafts. I'm adding the embossing powder after each stamping simply because it makes it much easier to see where I've been so I know where I want to add the next heart. I'm doing a trio of hearts here. And after I have this last one, I will heat set those. And the front of my card is pretty much finished. I did add a little black detail to her eyes using the Sakura black glaze pen. Excuse me, black glaze pen. Added a little ad liquid adhesive behind one of those embossed hearts. And then just set something heavy on it to hold it in place. To finish my card, I'm going to stamp an additional greeting on the inside using some black ink and another greeting from the In My Heart stamp set. And then I will take that same heart that I used on the front of the card and ink it up with the Mama Elephant Apple ink and finish with a little heart there at the end of the sentiment. I love continuing the design of the card on the inside of the card. Finally, I am going to add a little additional foam adhesive to the back of the entire piece there for the front to give it a little bit of dimension. This card is a four and a quarter inch square card. And just, I think it's so fun. I love, love this In My Heart stamp set. So many great ways to use it. The supplies I've used today are listed below the video on YouTube. For more information, please visit my blog or the Mama Elephant blog. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos every week. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.